Hello learners, we are moving to special purpose book. In this session, you will learn meaning of sales book and sales returns book. After that, we can study the preparation of sales book and sales returns book. Sales journal or sales book. In the sales book, all credit sales are recorded. Cash sales are recorded in the cash book. All credit sale of goods are only recorded in the sales book. All credit sale of assets are recorded in journal proper. So only credit sale of goods are recorded in the sales book. Cash sales in the cash book, credit sale of assets in the journal proper. Entries are recorded on the basis of invoices issued to the buyers at the time of sales. And two copies of the sales invoice are prepared. First copy is given to the buyer and second copy act as a source document for recording. In the sales book, we have particulars column where you have to record the name of the customer to whom goods are sold on credit. In the detail column, amount of sales details are recorded. Then. If there is trade discount, you have to deduct after doing calculations in the details column. And after that, if VAT is given, that is value added tax, then you have to add with that. After that, if packing charges or freight charges or cartage charges are given, it should also be added. Packing charges should be added, freight charges added and cartage charges should be added. Net amount of each customer is shown in the amount column. Total amount of this column shows credit sales for the period. Here is a format of the sales book with date, invoice number, name of the customer, ledger folio, details and amount. Messrs Furniture Mart wants you to prepare sales journal for the month. Entered March 2014 from the following details of sale of goods. Date 2014 March 4, sold on credit to Messrs. Mina traders. Invoice number is given in the question. What they have sold? Two double beds at rupees 7100 each and five chairs at rupees 260 each. Then on March 9th, sold on credit to Messrs. Coley furniture and invoice number given. Details of the materials sold, 5 tables at rupees 1400 each. Format of the sales book should be drawn. Heading should be given as books of Messrs Furniture Mart. And what you are preparing? You are preparing sales book or sales journal. You have to write the heading as sales book or sales journal. Then draw the format with date, invoice number, name of the customer, ledger folio, details and amount. Date will be written in this format with year first, then month and the date. Invoice number from the question you have to pick up and write. Then name of the customer, Mena Traders. What you have given, that also will be disclosed in the name of the customer column. Two double bed at rupees 7100 each. So its detail will come in the details column. Two into 7100, 14200. Then 5 chairs at rupees 260, 5 into 260 will give you 1300. So total that is net amount will come in the amount column. 14200 plus 1300, 15500 in the net amount column that is amount column. Then on March 9th, one more transaction, write the invoice number from the question. Name of the customer is Coley Furniture and this Messrs Furniture Mart has sold 5 tables at rupees 1400 to Coley Furniture. So 5 into 1400, 7000 net amount in the amount column. Some more transactions for the same question. 2014 March 24 sold on credit to Messrs Henda Furniture Mart. 4 sofa sets at rupees 18,000 each. March 30 sold on credit to Messrs Furniture Traders. 6 single bets at rupees 6000 each. So this is also a continuation of the 
previous sales book 2014 March 24 invoice number right from the question name of the customer Hainda Furniture Mart pose of facets at rupees 18,000 its details in the detail column 4 into 18,000 net amount 72,000 in the outer column that is the amount column another transaction March 30 Furniture Traders is the name of the customer. Six single beds at rupees six thousand. Six into six thousand in the details column and in the amount column, net amount thirty six thousand. So all these transactions, when it is totaled, it came to one lakh thirty five hundred. So you have to post these details from the sales book. Which are the two main accounts which you have to post? You have to post to debtors account and to the sales account. Debtors account is debited with two sales account, and sales account is credited with by sundries as per sales book. That is in the debtors account in the particulars column, you will write on the debit side to sales account. In the sales account on the credit side, you will write in the particulars column by sundries as per sales book. So here are the debtors book of Messrs Furniture Mart. Messrs. Meena Traders. It is in the form of an account. So date, particulars, ledger, folio, amount on the debit side and on the credit side. Debtors account. What you will write to sales account. Where you will write in the particulars column. So date and amount in the respective columns. Another debtor on the debit side you have to post what to sales account in the particulars column. Date and amount in the respective columns. Another debtor. In the debit side, you have to post to sales account in the particular column, date and amount in the respective columns. Similar is the case with this data also. Then, one more account I have told, which is that account, sales account. In the sales account, on the credit side, you have to post by sundries as per sales book in the particular column. Then date and total sales of one lakh thirty thousand five hundred will come in the amount column. So we have studied sales book. We have also to go through the sales returns book or sales returns journal. Goods returned by the customers are recorded in the sales returns journal or sales returns book. Goods may not be up to the quality that the customers has decided, so sometimes goods may be returned. Goods are returned due to goods are not as per sample. Sometimes goods may be damaged in transit. Sometimes seller will charge high price, so customers are not satisfied, so they will return that lot of goods. While Sales returns take place. You have to prepare a credit note, and it is prepared by the seller of the goods. So, who is preparing the credit note? Seller of goods are preparing credit note, and it is prepared in duplicate. Two copies are made for the credit note. Original copy is sent to the customer. That is. His account is credited with this amount, and duplicate copy of the credit note is kept for recording entry in the sales return book. Sales return book is of this format. We can also write as sales return journal. It has columns like date, credit note number, name of the customer. Ledger for you details and amount. Here is a question to prepare sales returns book. Details submitted by Messrs Furniture Mart for the month of March are as under. Date is given. Returns from Messrs Kohli Furniture. Two tables at rupees one thousand four hundred each. So, Kohli Furniture returned goods. So you have to prepare sales returns book with proper heading. You have to write whenever you are preparing various accounts or journal or book. You have to prepare according to the format 
that is proper heading should be there. In whose book you are writing? In the books of Messrs Furniture Mart. What you are writing? Sales Returns Journal or Sales Returns Book. Then, Date, Credit Note Number, Name of the Customer, Ledger Folio, Details and Amount. Date with year first, then month and then the date. Credit Note Number in the second column. And name of the customer who has returned goods, that is Coley Furniture. What they have returned? Two tables at Rs. 1400. Its details in the detail column, that is 2 into 1400, net amount is 2800. So, total of sales returns is 2800. That will come in the amount column. Posting of Sales Returns Book or Posting of Sales Returns Journal. Accounts of customers who have returned goods are credited with by Sales Returns Account. That is in the particulars column of the account of the customer who have returned goods, you will write in the particulars column by Sales Return Account. In which side? On the credit side. Then in the sales return account, you will write on the debit side in the particulars column to sundries as per sales return book. In the sales return account, on the debit side in the particulars column, you will write to sundries as per sales return book. See how the posting is done in the case of Coley Furniture. Coley Furniture is a customer who has returned Goods to Messrs Furniture Mart. Then open the name of the customer who has returned goods. So Messrs Coley Furniture's account is opened. Account will have two sides mainly with date, particulars, ledger folio and amount. Then on the credit side of this customer, you will write in the particulars column by sales returns account. Date and amount in the respective columns. Then one more account you have to open which is that that is the sales return account. Draw proper format of the account with date particulars ledger folio column and amount on the debit side and on the credit side. Write the heading sales return account. Then on the debit side you have to post in the particulars column sundries as per sales return book. Then date and amount in the respective columns. Here is a question in which you have to identify whether you should write in the sales book or in the sales returns book. Enter the following transactions in special purpose book. We have not mentioned which type of book. Special purpose book of Messrs. Goyal Electronic for the month of August 2015. Date is given. Sold on credit to Messrs. Tanya Electronics. Details of the goods sold are given. Trade discount is also given. So, if it is coming in the sales book, write the heading as Books of Whom? Books of Messrs. Goyle Electronics. What you are drawing? You are writing sales book. Date, invoice number, name of customer, ledger folio, details and amount. Date in the respective column, invoice number from the question. And name of the customer is Tanya Electronics. 12 TV at Rs. 900 and 5 DVD at Rs. 2500. And 12 into 900, 10,800 and 5 into 2500, 12,500. So 10,800 and 12,500 when it is added will give you 23,300. Trade discount of 5% is to be deducted. 23,300 into 5 by 100 will give you 1,165. 23,300 minus 1,165 net amount will come in the amount column that is 22,135. Sold on credit to Messrs. Kanishk in electronics. So, this will come in which book? Sales book. So, you have to prepare with the trade discount deduction less 10 percent trade discount. So, in the sales book, name of the customer, 
Kanishk Electronics 5 washing machine at Rs 4500, Color TV at Rs 16500, 5 into 4500, 22500 in the details column, 2 into 16500, 33000 and 22500 plus 33000 will give you 55500 less 10 percent trade discount that is 55500 into 10 by 100 will give you 5550 55500 minus 5550 49950 here this is a continuation of the previous question Messrs Tanya Electronics returned goods so this is recorded in sales returns book and one transaction sold on credit to Messrs Diamond Electronic. This should be recorded in the sales book. One item in the sales returns book and another item in the sales book with trade discount. In both the transactions trade discount is there so it should be deducted. So first we will prepare the sales returns book with Messrs Tanya Electronics. So in the sales returns book date Credit note number in the second column, name of the customer, ledger folio, details and amount. 2014, August 12, in credit note number 73, Tanya Electronics is the name of the customer. What you have sold? One DVD at rupees 2500 and one television at rupees 900. So, its details in the details column and after that deducting the trade discount of 5%. Then net amount will come in the amount column. So, relating to the diamond electronics, it should be recorded in the sales book. In the sales book, you have to write date, invoice number, name of the customer as diamond electronics and its details in the detail column after deducting the trade discount. Net amount will come in the amount column. Some more transactions relating to that question itself. Sold on credit to Messrs Electronic Zone. So, this will come in which book? It will come in sales book. Sold on credit to Messrs North East Electronics. This will also come in the sales book, not in the sales returns book. Second transaction has trade discount which should be deducted. So, when you prepare the sales book, it will look like this. The date, invoice number, the name of the customer, with its details in the detail column and second transaction in that trade discount of 10% will be deducted 30,000 minus 3,000, 27,000 will come in the outer column as the net amount. So, uh, when you consider all the previous transaction, total in the sales book will come to 1,55,935. Messrs. Tanya Electronics returned goods and Messrs. Electronics Zone returned goods. So, these are the cases of sales returns. So, it should be recorded in the sales returns book with trade discount in one transaction. See how it is appearing. Books of Messrs. Goyle Electronics as a heading you should write like that. Then you have to write sales returns book or sales returns journal. Then date, credit note number, name of the customer, ledger folio, details and amount. Now you have understood how to deduct the trade discount, every details. So this is how you have to prepare the sales returns journal or book. Dear learners, in this session you have learned meaning of sales book, sales returns book and you have studied the preparation of sales book and sales returns book. We have identified the posting procedures of the sales book and sales returns book. Hope you understood this session very well. Thank you.